Step 6. Module Overview. Let's give you a brief idea of what to expect from this module. In the first lessons, we will look at quantum mechanics for quantum communication. We will give you the basics of quantum mechanics, what qubits are, what are classical bits, what's the difference between them, how to describe qubits, how to operate on them, how to treat noise, noisy qubits, and then move on to larger number of qubits and look at entanglement. In the next lessons, lessons 5 to 7, we will look at some uh, optics fundamentals. We will particularly talk about how light is made, how classical light is made, how laser light is made, and how single photon light is made. And then we will consider uh, interference and waveguides. In lessons 8 to 10, we will look at some uh, quantum communication protocols, uh, which form the backbone of uh, most of quantum communication, such as teleportation and a few examples of uh, QKD. In lessons 11 and 13, we will look at the basics of quantum repeaters. Here we will start to consider long-distance co quantum communication where repeaters are needed. And we will conclude this module by looking at quantum repeater systems. There are some basics per basic prerequisites for this module, such as linear algebra, discrete probability, complex numbers, and uh, it's very helpful if you have some introduction to quantum computing and uh, uh, programming and classical computing. And if you know a little bit about computer networks, that's very helpful as well. Other than that, there are no physics requirements. Also, there are, there are a lot of uh, online materials, particularly uh, the MOOC, which is at the high school level and it's about uh, understanding quantum computers and requires very minimal math. And on top of that, it's uh, in English, Japanese, Thai, and Indonesian. And if you would like to learn a little bit more about some basic linear algebra, you can have a look at this YouTube uh, address.